it's Ashley. We are going to compare the Canon Selfie to the HP Sprocket, and I'm really excited to give you guys my thoughts on these. I asked y'all on Instagram if you wanted to see a comparison video, which is what we're doing because that's what you guys chose, versus seeing individual videos of these. And I'm really glad you guys chose comparison because I think that's really going to help you make a decision on which printer to get. Now, if you're if you're like, what what am I watching? What's happening? Um, hi, hello. I am comparing a couple of different photo printers. And if you're watching this just to see how each works, maybe you're wanting to purchase the sprocket or you're wanting to purchase the selfie. I'm gonna show you how both of those work as well. We're just gonna compare both of these in the process. So I have the Canon Selfie CP1300 and I have an HP sprocket. First things first, let's compare price on these two. So for the Canon Selfie, the printer alone, just the printer, is $99. And it does come with 10 sheets of photo paper as well as ink. This, uh, this, oh, wait a minute, hold on a minute. I'm not finished with this one. Okay, the printer is $99. It comes with photo paper and with ink. And then to purchase ink and photo paper separately, this is what it looks like, and this has 100 sheets of photo paper, and it also has an ink cartridge that you need. It is $34. So that's the Canon selfie price. Now, the sprocket's a little tricky because I found this one on Amazon for $79, and unfortunately, it is no longer available because I, if I'm being honest up front, I don't even know that it was worth $79. So it sucks because now it's it starts at $129, and it just kind of goes up from there. There's different colors and stuff like that that you can get. You can get rose gold and blue and white and black. And um, I think they had teal, uh, a couple of different colors with that. The selfie comes in black and white that I know of. And then to get the photo paper for the sprocket, to get 100 sheets of photo paper, it is $32. And I will have everything linked down below in the description box for you guys if you guys are wanting to check anything out. So if we're looking at these two price-wise, um, the selfie is cheaper, but I also think it's a better deal. I'll go ahead and tell you that up front. This is what I would invest in over this, but I'll show you why. Um, okay, let's check both of these out. Um, the Canon selfie, this is what it looks like. Weight-wise, it's like, it's not light, but it's also not heavy. So it's somewhere in the middle. It's got this digital screen on it that flips up and down. You've got some buttons here on the front. I'm going to unplug this just so I can maneuver it a little bit better but over here on this side this is where your ink cartridge goes and you do not have to buy multiple ink cartridges you buy one everything that you need ink wise is in one cartridge and it just pops out and that is what the cartridge looks like which it may be out of ink because I think if it has if it's clear it's out of ink so that's good we can set up a new cartridge together and we'll do all that together and that just pops right back in there. If you look over here on this side, you have it to where you can do some USB ports inside of here, which is really nice. And then the front of it, this little thing flips down. You can put an SD card here. And then this is where your paper cartridge is gonna go. So here's what the cartridge looks like. This is the one that comes with it. It pops open here, and then it also opens here. So you're gonna load your paper inside of here you close just this part down you leave this other one open and then that clips right there and it's going to feed the paper through and out the back and um, I like this thing though because it does keep your paper protected so whenever you're not using it you can just close this thing up take it all apart close this thing up and it, your photo paper is protected so that is kind of the overview of the Canon the HP sprocket Pretty basic, very lightweight, very portable. I would say as far as on the go goes, this would obviously be a better option because I mean, this thing can fit inside of your pocket. The selfie, not so much, but for me, the size and the weight of this thing and the quality, I would prefer this one even on the go. Now, the only difference here as far as on the go, if you're wanting to print photos on the go, um, this one does not technically need a power source, but we'll talk about that in a few. This one does need a power source. The Canon Selfie does. So as far as on the go, this might be a better option, but for me personally, for what I would be using it for, I would definitely prefer the Selfie. But anyways, if we're looking at the sprocket, the one that I picked out is black. It's got these gorgeous little specks on it. I really do love the look of this thing. And if we look at the front, this is where the paper is going to come out. It's got this little light on the front. We flip it over here. 
this is where you charge it this is where you turn it on that's really it as far as buttons and stuff goes the lid comes off and this is where you're going to insert paper which we're going to do that together so i'll show you how to do that so that is kind of an overview of the sprocket now both of these come with apps uh, the Canon Selfie, you do not need to use the app to print, which is probably one of my favorite parts about it. So let's go ahead and we are first going to load paper into the, or we'll print something, I mean, from the Canon Selfie. We're going to see if there's any ink left inside of that cartridge that came with it. So we're going to lift this up. It still has the uh, plastic that comes on the screen. So if it looks bubbly, that's why I just never did take it off. To turn it on, you just hold the button down until Canon pops up on the screen. There it is. All right, it is ready to go. And if you look at the screen, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it or not, but on the screen up here, it says select and print. You navigate everything through these buttons and then you have more print options, shuffle print, your setup, Wi-Fi settings, and ID photo. So this is set up to Wi-Fi, which is awesome because I can print directly from my photos app on my phone. And then also you can print from a USB card or a USB. You can also print from an SD card, which is fantastic with the sprocket. Unfortunately, you cannot do that, which I get it. It's tiny. That's what it's meant for, or that's not what it's meant for. I'll get this right. I promise. Just work with me here. It's not meant for that, but this is uh, and it's cheaper, which is kind of interesting to me. So anyways, I already have this thing set up ready to go on Wi-Fi. So it's going to talk to my phone through Wi-Fi. So if we are looking at the photos app on my phone and let's say I want to print this photo, you can go here, scroll down to print. It is automatically going to find my other printer. We want the Canon selfie. You can choose copies. You can choose if you want it to be uh, black and white if you want it to be in color the paper it says postcard that we cannot change so we are going to go ahead and print this while that is printing we're going to add photo into the sprocket some photo paper actually we're going to wait i got to show you this so it's going to pull the paper through four times the first time it's going to turn the photo, it's going to print in yellow and then I think it does red and then it does blue and then the final time is like a coat over the top. So you can see here it's printing in yellow. You do have to make sure that there's nothing behind it because it's sending that paper out the back. And it shows you here on the screen what it's printing, if you guys can see that. Now we're doing the reds. And then now it's going to print in blue. And then finally, it's going to do a protective coat over the top. Okay, so here is the photo that it printed. You can immediately touch it. You don't have to worry about it smearing. It's not going anywhere. As you can see, the colors are pretty darn true to what was on my phone. So here's the picture on my phone. Here's the photo of it. Turns out so good. The paper quality is incredible. It's kind of like professional photos if you went and had them printed. It does have these little scored edges on them so you just bend these, pop those off of there. Boom, your photo is ready to go. And so with that we printed directly from the photos app on my phone. Print time on this, I think it said it's like 47 seconds or something like that. So it's not not too incredibly long. You know what I mean? So it prints fairly quickly. This thing will print, I think, a little bit faster. I don't know. I didn't time it. But let's go ahead and we're going to add paper into the sprocket. Now, the way that the sprocket works, you're not technically buying ink cartridges like you do for this. But with this one, you can get the whole pack of ink cartridges along with the paper. With the sprocket, the way that this comes are these little sheets. Now, first off, one thing I do want to note, obviously, is the different paper size. That is a huge thing to me because with the selfie, you can actually print 
multiple photos onto this one and I'll show you how to do that soon. This one, you're gonna get one photo on there. So when we open this up, inside of here we have maybe okay this is your ink somehow don't ask me how i have no idea <laughs> that is going to be your ink so to put ink inside of here you put this blue card face down and then for the photo paper it goes glossy side up the photo paper goes in there now these are in individual packets Every 10 photos you print, you have to feed that little um, ink thing through there again. With this one, the way that it works, from my understanding, is whenever you get the whole kit like this, and it comes with 100 sheets, there is enough ink inside of that cartridge for all 100 sheets. But we've got the photo paper inside of here. We've got that little thing in there. We're going to put the cover back on. And it's first going to feed that little blue thing through there. Okay. That's done. You're not going to use it anymore. So now that's ready to go. Now you cannot print to the HP Sprocket from the Photos app on your phone. You have to use the actual app that you download for the HP Sprocket. So if we go over here to that app, and it's because this one's over Bluetooth, and this one's over Wi-Fi. So let's say we're going to print that exact same photo that we printed on the selfie. It's this one. And see this one, you can kind of edit this a little bit up here at the top. And I'm going to show you the app to the selfie here shortly. But you can kind of edit this. You can add some fun little borders, which I actually thought was kind of cool that you can do that. You can change that stuff up. You can add um, some of these little texts that they have. And I thought that was really, really cool that they did that. Unfortunately, the print quality is not the best. You can actually add your own text to it, which is nice. And you can do some other edits on here. We're going to leave it the way it is, and we're just going to print this way. So all you do is you hit this little print button here, and it's going to send the photo to the printer. And then if you click back, no, nope, wait a minute. Yeah, that's right. You can click back, and then you go here, and that shows me what is going to print. So if you're ever like, I don't know if I print it or not, this will show you. And so we're still waiting, and now it is going to start printing. All right, here is our little printed photo. And as you can see, the colors are very distorted on here. Not, not the best quality, if you ask me. If we look at the difference, and I don't know if you guys can see the difference on the screen or not, but it's two totally different colors, especially whenever we look at it this way. When you look at both of these photos together, you can see the difference. And I know, obviously, this one's bigger, so it's like kind of hard to tell, but if you pull this up closer here, the colors are definitely, definitely off on the sprocket. Now, I have printed a bunch of photos. Let me grab them. I have this little baggie of photos that I printed on the sprocket, and I'm, I'm telling you the colors are not the same on here as they are on my phone. Now, whenever I print anything that I have printed with the selfie, it's been the same. This was actually my very first image that I printed with the selfie. Colors are true. Here's a, a photo that I did that I actually have three different photos on this one sheet. So that's really cool because if I wanted to, I can cut these and you can actually get four sheets, four photos on here too, which is really nice because then you can have four photos that are this size. And then here's another one that I did and it's just a fun little layout. So as far as print quality goes, definitely the selfie, it takes it tenfold 
as far as being able to print multiple photos on one page, I love that you can do that with the selfie or you can print one solid photo. But I love that you can do that because you're getting, you kind of get more bang for your buck. You know what I mean? If you print four photos out on here and then you cut them out, to me that works better. And then the print quality, I just can't get over the, the difference, especially if I have to pay $129 for this. I don't know if I got this as a promotional thing. I actually went back and double checked and made sure it wasn't refurbished because I thought maybe that's why the print quality is really off on it. It is not. I did double check. So I don't know if maybe that was like a promotion that they were having that I got it that cheap. But if I had to pay $129 for this and I tried this out separate and I seen that different quality whenever this is only $100, bucks, I would not be too happy about it, which is why I'm excited to make this video because I don't want you to do that if that's the case. Now, if you're like, that doesn't look bad to me. There's nothing wrong with that, Ashley. Definitely get this rocket. Like, I, that's totally up to you. I'm not here to tell you, like, what's right or wrong. You have to choose what works for you. I think the sprocket is great if you are doing, um, if you do a lot of traveling, this might be a better option for you. I don't do a lot of traveling, and I don't do a lot of traveling where I'm printing out photos. So, for me, the selfie was definitely a better choice. Now, the cool thing I will say about the sprocket, the photo paper has a sticky back which is one of my favorite things. And I do wish that, well, it has a sticky back if I can peel it off there. Um, I do wish that the Canon, the selfie photo paper had sticky backing on it, but the quality of it trumps that anyway. So it's not a deal breaker for me if you're someone who like, okay, I am struggling for some reason. I promise you it's not usually this hard. Okay, maybe it's just that side, I'm just not. It's these nails. I know you're watching me and you're like, why do you wear those things if you can't do anything? I like having my nails done, okay? All right, I'm just, even though my nails look terrible right now because I've been painting and stuff on them. There we go, goodness gracious. Okay, so <laughs> the paper has a sticky, sticky backing on it, which is nice because if you are like me and you like to memory keep, you like to memory plan, all you have to do is peel the back of that off and you can stick it right down there inside of your planner, planner or your memory keeper, whatever you use, bullet journal, whatever you have, you can stick it right down and you don't need anything else to go with it. Now with the selfie, you will have to adhere this down, whether it be, I don't know if you can use, I'm sure you can use a glue stick on this. Um, they have some glue sticks that are for photo paper, right? So you could use a glue stick on this. You could use the Tombow double-sided tape, which is what I recommend. But with this one, it does have a sticky back. So that's, that's a pro to this one, if you ask me. But there's, there's too many pros, too many cons to this one and too many pros to this one for me to choose the sprocket over the selfie. But I do like the sticky backing on it. Now, really quickly, what I want to show you is the selfie apps. There are two different apps that you can get. If we go over here, I have it in this little folder that says Canon. We're going to pull those up. And the, one, the first one that we have is just a print one. And here you can just... Oh, we might not want the printer set settings. Anyways, you can just print from here just like I did from my photos app. So I'm not going to show you this one. This one's just printing. This other app, it's called the Canon Selfie app. And you click on this one. This one's a really cool, fun little app. I'm still learning it, so bear with me here. But I think the one that I like the most is probably this one. You click on it. See, let me go back. I'm getting too excited here. Here you've got select and print. This says in up layout, so you can arrange your favorite photos in the same size a bookmark layout and then there's the shuffle layout which for the shuffle layout I think I did that was this photo I printed it on the shuffle layout you have combination layout and I think that was the one that I did this one with and then there's label layout the one that I like is right here so we click on this photo location you can click smartphone and then You've got all of your photo albums here too, which is cool because if you want to move all your photos that you need to print into one album so it's easier to find, you can. We're going to hit Recents, and then I'm going to um, I'm going to print this one. Actually, let's do four of them. So we're going to do one, two, three, and four. Hit OK at the bottom. So see, there's four photos on one sheet, and to me, that is a huge pro. And then from here... Down here, you can um, mess with the layout some if you wanted to. You can do two. And if you do two, it'll create another page over here. And so there's the other two photos that I have. 
I'm going to leave it on four because I want four photos onto this one thing. And then from here, you can change the border of it to where it's bordered or if it's bordered list, which I'm going to do bordered list because I'm going to separate. I'm going to cut those four photos out anyways. Um, and if I do a border, it's just going to take away from those, which I still think it doesn't look bad. Background dot grid. You can add stamps. You can add text to it, which I'm not going to. You can add filters, all kinds of fun, different little things that you can do with this. But we're going to hit print preview. Okay. I have to move this here so the paper on the back doesn't hit anything. Um, one copy borderless and then you're just going to hit print and that is going to print. So I really love that app that you can kind of, oh, that thing's loud. Let's wait for that to print and then I'll tell you. Oh, ink cassette is empty. Wonderful. We get to change the ink together. I forgot about that. I'm glad that happened. So this is the new cartridge that I got. Okay, there's two different ink cartridges in here and there's all these stacks of sheets of paper. Now, from my understanding, there was supposed to be one cartridge and it would use all 100. So maybe it's, maybe I read that incorrectly. Maybe it is supposed to be one cartridge for 50 sheets or maybe it just meant that there'd be enough in here for all 100. So that makes more sense. If there's enough in there for all 100, you have both cartridges. These are in individual stacks, which I'm pretty sure you can only put like 15, between 15 and 19, maybe 17 and 19 photos in here at once. And it, it even tells you, I don't remember the number, I'm sorry, but it even tells you like, don't put any more in there than that because you could tear it up. So that's cool. All right, we're gonna open up one of these and one of the cartridges. So let's take the other cartridge out. Now the paper, this is something else I just noticed. The paper that I had in here is out. And so the ink cartridge was just enough for those photo papers that it sent me. So that makes me happy. Cause then you can kind of look at your papers too and you can see, okay, I have like five sheets left. So I'm getting low on ink I need to reorder. And with these ones, you stick them in glossy side up. We close just the top lid down. Hold on, I don't have those in there straight. There we go. Just the top side, we're gonna click that back in. We will eject this ink cartridge that's in here. So that's empty. We have the new one. Oh, we're gonna use this one. I guess it doesn't matter, but. Okay, so here we go. And if you look on the ink cartridge itself, it shows you an arrow. So there's no really way to mess this up. You follow the arrow. It also has two different sizes here and it shows that on the inside of this cartridge. So you guys can see, and then this just slides. And there you click it in, lift this up, boom. It says no paper or cassette inserted incorrectly. Did I mess it up? Nope, I did have it messed up. Okay, now it's going to print. Okay, look, it just popped out. I'm instantly going to touch it. No ink, no smearing, none of that. So as soon as it comes out, it's ready to go. You don't have to worry about anything else. And then you just pop off those serrated ed edges on it. And there's our photo. And what I would normally do is take a pair of scissors 
listen, I can't cut straight, so don't judge my cutting abilities here. If you have a uh, paper cutter, that works way better. I have one, but for the sake of this video, we're just going to use our scissors. Yeah, that's not straight at all. Okay, so anyways, there we go. And look, that is this, this is the sprocket photo. And this is the selfie photo. So we got four same size as the sprocket photos on this one sheet with the selfie. To me, you just can't beat that. To me, that's um, way better bang for your buck, even though it's cheaper than the sprocket. I just, I still cannot get over that, you guys, how good of a quality that these photos are. Normally what I do whenever I memory keep and stuff, I will get online on walmart.com and I have to order my photos, which is a whole long process. And then you have to go to the store and pick them up. With this, you get to do it right at home. And so if you want to sit down at midnight, print out some photos and do some memory keeping while you watch some TV, you can. To me, that's what I really wanted this for was to be able to do this stuff at home and then I can actually keep up with it because ordering photos, I avoid it because it's such a pain in the butt. But now I get to print them at home and I'm really, really pumped for that. That is my comparison of the Canon selfie and the sprocket. I will have everything again linked down below in the description box if you wanna check it out. But my recommendation is the selfie over the sprocket. So thank you so much for watching my video. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. I hope you have an incredible day and I will see you in the next video.